Now customizing the user experience. Now with, for customizing user experience, again, as I said, you don't have to be an expert at this. You can add different HTML elements with your web guys. You don't have to be a Tableau expert for this. So let us try to create these buttons to customize user experience. So to create this, I'm just gonna again, open up my tabs here. And what I'm gonna do first is make a simple button to just export to PDF, all right? So, but before that, I do want to put a header to say what this is. So this is HTML code again. So I'm just gonna do that and say that is embed. And I'm gonna put some breaks to give me some white space. All right. Uh, and I'm gonna put a button. And then an ID, data, and on when there's a click event, I want you to get my data function, which doesn't exist yet. I do need to make it. And I'm actually uh, going to add some bit of a styling things. Now these are again from JavaScript. So to get that, you have the JavaScript options to import style sheets. So I just have some things that are good for it. So I'm gonna copy paste those. Just put it up here, replace these scripts. I still have my JavaScript script, but I've also added some styling scripts. Doesn't matter, but those are things like your web guys would really know. Um, and then again, you don't have to be an expert of these. These are things that you can always find multiple examples online. I'm gonna make another button just for grins. I'm going to call it get PDF and then I'm going to give it an on click event again plus and on click is going to run a function which is export to PDF. I apologize for the noise. Seems that someone has decided to do some housework today. Uh, so I hope it doesn't distract you too much. Uh, but then we'll be done soon. Done some export PDF, and now we have all those bits. Perfect. I'm going to put some breaks again. Great. Let's see what that looks like. Now I have a bit of a title, and I have these buttons, which don't do anything right now. Okay. Perfect. I really apologize for this noise. Um, I have some neighbors who moved in recently. So I'm just going to make these functions quickly. So I'm going to make an export to PDF function. And we're going to see how to find that. And now in my API reference, I can search for export to PDF. Uh, PDF flow rather. Oh yeah, perfect. I was already there. Show export PDF dialog. This is the function that we need. And you can see that this function comes from the WIS class. So it's in the WIS class that you get this function export to PDF. So in my JavaScript function, all I need to tell, all I need to tell it is this whiz element. Just show me the export. I copy the thing from here. Show export PDF dialog. Great. Once I'm in there, it's loaded again. Export to PDF, and now I get this dialog that you would get in Tableau Server. As simple as that. Now, uh, actually, instead of get data, I'm gonna not do the get data bit now because that can be a bit confusing, um, but it's all in here. You can have, with get data, you can just search for data and data table, which will come up pretty soon. Um, I'll just search for data table, data table class. In here, you can start getting columns. You can get the table captions. You can also get underlying data. Async as well. So these are possibilities that you have with this. Great. Uh, what I'm actually going to create now is a, fun a filter. So in my dashboard, if you see, I have this filter already in here. I'm going to create a filter outside my dashboard. So to do that, what I need is to give it some functions here. Let's say I'm going to make another div element. Oops, sorry. Just clean this up a little bit. Div and then give it an ID, which is called controls, and give it a style, which I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna give, this is from my, uh, specific to my 
um, styling document that I have. There we go. Then I'm going to create a section. Section is the name of what I want to do because the section is in here. So select, uh, I need a name, just name an ID, and this says uh, name section. So, and then in my select element, I'm going to say on change. I want you to run a function. I'm going to make this function later. Section filter of value. Great. And now I'm going to create some options here, which are option value. Uh, just make some all, all. Make some options here. All right. This is going to be blog. Make that blog. So these are all options that I have under here, which I just copied earlier. So community is going to become community examples, examples, register. Uh, search. Perfect. I have these elements in there. Uh, there is more, but that's all we need for now. And now, if I refresh this, I will get my little filter up there that gives me these options. Great, easy peasy. Now we just need to get this uh, little function in there for us. Uh, so let me do that. Section filter is what I'm going to call my function. Section. And now for the file, for the filtering options, I can again go to the reference and I can search for filter. And it will give me what is the methods. If I want to filter, a lot of things for filter. You can get the filters that are there. And you can also apply filters. Now we want it on the worksheet class to apply filters, or you can even clear filter from the worksheet of even from the dashboard. So in my filter section, just don't jump in. I'm going to do the next part a little quietly so you don't get the stuff. Anymore. Right, I'm back. People seem to have stopped drilling. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm doing an if statement where if the people say all, then I want you to clear all filters. But if they select something from my option, then I want to apply stuff from here. So I'd give it the section name. So that's the name of the filter. In my dashboard, that is the name of this field. And section is what I'm getting passed from, from my selection here. I select something and that value that I select is going to be sent to my section folder. And that is what I'm sending here to my apply option. And then I'm just going to tableau filter update type. Dot replace. These are all things that you can find in the JavaScript API reference. And that should be it. I think let me check if I have the correct things. Perfect. Um, if I refresh this again. Now I have this options. I'm going to select community. You can see my section has changed here to community and it's filtered the view. I'm going to select search and I'm back there. So this is what happens here. So jumping back to the slides again, uh, just take a little bit, set up, perfect. Uh, so that's how you can customize the user experience. You can be proficient in Tableau dashboard. So as a Tableau dashboard developer, you can develop your dashboard. And as a WebKit developer, as your website developer, you can start developing your WebKit. You can start developing your dash, your website as needed. 
using this these elements. <laughs>